Welcome back to another episode of MG Nights. I'm TieFly85, and what I want to go ahead and talk to you today about um, is something I'm really excited for that comes out on September 29th, and that is American Made, starring Tom Cruise. This movie looks really good. I'm really excited to see this movie. Um, it definitely, basically what it does is it follows a TWA pilot, so he's a pilot for an airline. Um, he's recruited by the CIA to provide reconnaissance on the communist threat in Central America, uh, where he basically finds himself in charge of one of the biggest covert CIA operations in the history of the United States. Uh, so it looks really good. Uh, it's about the cartel and drug smuggling, and it just it looks really good movie. I'm excited to see. I know that Tom Cruise did have a movie that came out a little bit while ago that was The Mummy um, that kind of didn't really get the grade of reviews. I thought it was a really good movie, honestly. I'm excited to see what Universal does with their horror universe, um, but I know a lot of people didn't necessarily like that movie, uh, but I am excited to see him kind of in another uh, action-esque uh, kind of movie because that's kind of what he's known for. Uh, now currently uh, So definitely go ahead and check that one out. I'm gonna leave the description for the trailer down below So definitely go ahead and check that out Also uh, next up on my list what I want to talk about uh, as just kind of an update to uh, The new Terminator reboot uh, that we did talk about just earlier this week Basically Linda Hamilton is returning to the Terminator reboot uh, Which is kind of exciting. Uh, we haven't seen Linda Hamilton since Terminator 2 uh, so it's going to be really awesome. I mean, it's 26 years ago uh, that Linda Hamilton was in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So it's going to be really awesome to see her come back, uh, reprise her role. Also, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, we, I mean, so James Cameron's coming back as the writer. So that's going to be pretty awesome to see how they're going to be able to take that story and continue on with it. Uh, so very excited for that and next up on my list what I want to talk about is Wes Anderson uh, Any of you who have seen his movies, you know, he does some really great work uh, some really funny movies uh, He's just it, it, he's just a really good director uh, So he's got a new movie coming out called Isle of Dogs uh, Basically it and it's it looks absolutely wonderful the stop-motion animated feature has a star-studded cast Oh my goodness. It's such a massive list of people in this movie um, I don't even think it would take me like 10 minutes to name all of them. So it's definitely going to be an awesome movie. Go ahead and check that out. I'll also leave that trailer down in the description below. I would highly recommend that you guys check that movie out. It looks really good. All right, and another one up on my list that I want to talk about. Uh, so since we're just over two months away from the theoretical arrival of Justice League, uh, Warner Brothers potentially most ambitious DC comic-based film ever attempted. Um, uniting Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, um, and Superman, the heaviest hitters in the DC Comics lore, uh, I mean overall that they have, um, screened to take on the forces of Steppenwolf and underlings from Apocalypse, uh, except there is one missing overall from Justice League for any of you who are familiar with that, um, and that character is Green Lantern. Uh, so basically, uh, they're talking about will Green Lantern ever show up in uh, the DC Universe considering how poorly uh, the Green Lantern movie did uh, when it was came out uh, with Ryan Reynolds. Now the movie itself was okay, uh, but for comic book fans, the movie just, it was a flop. It just did not. I love that in Deadpool, uh, they kind of made fun of, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds made fun of that in that film, which was really funny. So basically with Green Lantern, uh, you know, my question is to you is what would you like to see done with Green Lantern when it comes to the Justice League? And also which Green Lantern do you want to see standing beside the fully assembled Justice League in the DCEU? Uh, definitely be sure to sound off down in the comments below. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. Also, too, if you're new here, we do make videos every Monday through Saturday, so go ahead and subscribe with notifications on to make sure you get those alerts every time the video is uploaded. All right, guys, stay awesome.